Hello YouTube survivors. Hello family, friends. This is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life and other disappointing experiences with our first garden progress report. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to document our adventures in the garden. And um, as you can see, Mother Nature is providing us with the natural hydration. We've had so much rain. <laughs> uh, at least we're saving on the sprinklers. Um, we began the project in March. It was very cold and April got even colder. So um, it's a little bit behind schedule, but it sort of picked up probably right on target. So the first part of the video is going to be March, showing you the space that we have. It's about 35 feet by five feet wide. It's very small um, compared to what you might call victory gardens. Uh, then we'll be preparing the soil. That happened in April and part of May. Um, we uh, purchased an electric rototiller because we're getting old and turning the soil by hand has gotten to be uh, a challenge. Um, so we put some compost down, we put some peat moss down, we put some topsoil down and we tilled the soil and dug it really deep this time hoping the roots would have a good connection. Um, then sometime in mid-May, we purchased uh, a lot of pre-grown uh, plants, not seedlings. They were already established. And uh, I can't believe what you'll see in June, how wonderful our uh, garden is going so far. We have slicing tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes, grape tomatoes, Roman tomatoes for sauce, we have yellow and green beans. At least we have the plants. Um, we have peppers, jalapeno and bell peppers. Um, the beans, we have yellow, green and the long Asian ones. Uh, we have two kinds of eggplants so far. We have pumpkins. Well, we have pumpkin plants. We have cucumbers, which we always have success with. Uh, two kinds, slicing and Kirby's for pickling. And a couple of pots of greens and herbs, parsley, thyme, rosemary, um, sage, and a zucchini, um, which we're always struggling with because of this nasty uh, borer called the uh, vine borer. Uh, and I'm trying a new way to control them. We'll see what happens with that. And the squirrels like the green zucchini that we have that's only about three inches long and it has squirrel teeth marks. So anyway, hope you enjoy um, our little garden uh, experiment. We've been very, very lucky every year um, to have a lot of, a lot of vegetables. Um, enjoy this video and please at the end comment, ask questions. Um, have a good time. I am having a wonderful time getting to know all of you new friends on uh, online. Enjoy the video. Thank you. This video was taken in March um, after a really cold spring and April didn't get much better. Our property for the garden is about five foot wide at the widest and somewhere between 30 and 35 feet long. It's not a very big piece of property but it seems to produce a lot of uh, vegetables. Um, here it is uh, before we do much work on it. Oh my shadow's in the way here. Um, we have some planters too just to break up some of the height and the um, visual aspect of the garden. Next is a video of us preparing the soil um, after the winter. Usually we till the soil with by hand with uh, the sharp pronged rake. It's back breaking even though it's a small piece of property but uh, we put down some topsoil, some compost, and some uh, peat moss. We have a 
clay-based kind of soil. Um, and that makes sometimes the roots difficult to propagate. Um, I've got a couple of rose bushes in here hoping to attract the bees, but they're not doing all that well. Look at this poor soil sitting there. On there. Uh, I'll put a link into the rototiller that we bought for this. It saved our backs, for sure. Here we are just after planting. Most of the plants we bought this year as not as seedlings but as started plants. I try to do some seedlings but this year just didn't work out for us. The beans I always start indoors. Um, you can see we have tomatoes, an eggplant, uh, a rosemary bush here, peppers, some more eggplants. The beans are going to climb against the white wall which is uh, on the south side of the wall which is nice for the sun. There's that poor little rose bush came back really well. We also put petunias in to attract the bees and zucchini. The zucchini are usually prolific. We'll see what happens this year. Um, there was a little shot of a cucumber plant. You'll see how that develops as we go along. This is the beginning of June and things just popped. We have had a lot of rain, chilly weather, uh, and I want to show you some of the challenges and as well as some of the benefits of our backyard. This is an oak tree from our neighbor. It extends probably two-thirds over into our property. It's leaning very badly, provides us a lot of shade, but also shade in the vegetable garden. We have this beautiful redbud tree that we raised uh, from a cutting. Uh, here is that oak tree. It is so very big and old and beautiful and a home for woodpeckers and cardinals and uh, catbirds. It's just beautiful. Um, but it is big and uh, it creates a lot of shade, makes challenging work for the garden. Um, here is the garden as it is in the beginning of June. You can see it is really popped open. Um, you can uh, get a feel for how wonderfully rich the soil is. There's a cu two cucumbers. They're going to climb up those little makeshift trellises that I made. Uh, we've added a little bit of rock garden and some petunias. Uh, we put eggplants in um, planters. Someone I read somewhere um, say the roots have to be warm and they'll produce better and that seems to be the truth. These are climbing tomatoes that will climb up that pole. This one here, these two are heirlooms um, and I forgot to read the label but one is a very dark purple um, tomato. It will be fun to show you with that when they fruit. Here's a, another little rose bush you see it there, the little poor little thing. Um, that's the peace rose. It was my grandmother's favorite, so I try to nurse it. I had to move it again. Um, it does have a bud. Wonderful. And uh, this climbing tomato plant produces yellow, uh, no, cherry red. Here's a blossom on our eggplant already. You can see that every now and then you'll see some blossoms on the tomato plants. Um, you can see some beans in the background getting ready to climb. Uh, another eggplant. I've got some um, cannas which we're going to put outside in the front. There are radishes. Um, these are yellow beans in the pots and green beans on the fence. They produce lots of beans. Uh, the petunias took off and the bees are happy. Um, we live in an area that the houses are very close to each other, as you can see. Um, and it's uh, sort of like Queens, New York, but it is Long Island. Uh, there are our peppers. We have one jalapeno, the rest are bell peppers. Um, let's see, what is this? Eggplant, again. Another climbing. No, this is another. Um, this is beefsteak, I hope. That's what it, the label said, but sometimes people move the little labels. Um, 
the climbing rose bush here, the climbing rose, the climbing tomato <laughs> is a yellow tomato uh, that's really tasty. I had it last year. There's um, a lot of space now I've left open for the zucchini. You can see <laughs> they just grew and grew and grew. Um, we already already have a couple of yellow zucchini. They'll probably be ready to pick in about a week and a half, two weeks. That came very fast. Uh, they are prone to these uh, vine borers, very difficult to get rid of. They bore into the plant at the base and kill the plant from inside out. So I'm trying a new system. We'll see what happens. Now here's that zucchini that the squirrel liked. Uh, we'll probably let it grow and cut off that piece. We can share with the uh, neighborhood uh, wildlife. Our little cucumber has some beautiful flowers. And uh, if you look closely, you can see the first of our cucumbers and they mature very quickly. So sometime in the end of next week, my guess is we will have um, cucumber. Uh, sorry for the videography. I'm not a videographer, but I do my best. Um, the vine borers come out as moths from the previous year. Um, the moth lays its egg at the base of the plant and the egg hatches and the pupa bores itself into the plant. This is a little kind of a gazebo reading area. It's one of my favorite spots in the yard. I'm sorry for the sun glare, but it, this was early morning. Um, it's a great spot to sit and relax, um, especially at the five o'clock hour. We have some uh, grapes climbing. Usually I cut them back but, uh, each year, but last year I cut them back really harshly and they're coming back nicely. This, you can see on the bottom here, is a raspberry bush our daughter gave us for, I guess, Father's Day? I can't remember. It has become a monster. <laughs> Almost as bad as bamboo. <laughs> and then uh, we have herbs. We plant herbs in pots so it's easy to get out there even in the rain and cut out lettuces. Um, parsley. You can see if you look carefully there's some basil. This is dill which we'll have to cut back. We will actually use them for pickling the cucumbers and the kirbys. Here is sage. I'm going to buy some blue sage. This thyme bush really shouldn't winter over but it does and it gets better and stronger every year. Can't figure that out for the life of me. Uh, we're in zone 7, which is a colder zone, a later planter. And again, here is an example of all the shade we get. Beautiful, beautiful rose, uh, redbud bush uh, tree. Love it, love it, love it. And we have this huge hydrangea. This produces so many, many blossoms. Look at this. It's all coming to bloom now. We're going to have fresh hydrangeas for weeks. Just beautiful. Um, that, I, again, I have to cut back every now and then. And lastly, we have pumpkins. This is a, an old uh, dog run that we had when we had our Rhodesian Ridgeback, and he's been gone a while. So now we've planted pumpkins in his honor, and we'll see what happens uh, in October. That'll be fun. So that's it for this video. Here is a last look at our little victory garden. And uh, if we can get the vine borers <laughs> under control, we will declare victory. Well, I hope you had a good time watching uh, our garden progress. It's fun to do um, and much more fun in the fall when all the veggies come into fruit. Um, there's nothing better than to run outside and say, let's have some string beans, pick them from the garden, cook them up, and uh, taste the difference between that and store-bought produce. Um, we hope to produce a video in July, probably July and August, before the big harvest comes. We've got a couple of vacations coming up, so we might wind up with a garden full of weeds. We'll have to see. Um, at the bottom comments, I'll put a link to the tiller. I never thought a rototiller, especially electric one, would work. Um, I was so surprised. 
It was really a smart, smart purchase. Um, please make comments, make suggestions. Again, I ask you, I have gotten a couple of criticisms and I think they're valid and uh, I wouldn't ask for them if I didn't think, if I didn't think I'd take them seriously. Uh, but again, be nice, not nice to be nasty. <laughs> Um, so uh, anyway, I've been having fun. So uh, this is social media for uh, goodness sake. So be social, comment to others, chat with others. I am making friends on so many uh, YouTube channels um, just with people who think the way I do, who have the same interests. The crafting world is wide. Elizabeth Brewer has been wonderful. Pink Poodle has been wonderful. Um, oh, now, of course, I have Brain Block. Um, mm, Cheryl Coyote. Just a whole bunch of wonderful people. And uh, it just shows you that human nature is good. So make some new friends. And please, 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 <laughs> if you are enjoying this uh, experiment for an old person, <laughs> click like. Please share with others. It's... Uh, Again, social media, sharing with others. And please, please subscribe. I'm 929, 28, 928 um, subscribers short <laughs> of 1,000. Uh, you can make a difference in that number. So again, thank you. Uh, stay well and bye for now.